Hello everyone. I came across this very powerful and interesting technical indicator. So I thought it's worth to share with you guys. As we discussed most of times and we all know the market doesn't go in a straight line. It always go ups and downs based upon momentum, trend, fundamentals, demand and supply. Simply we can say investing is a probability game. And as always, every bit of additional or extra information in any stock is very important so that it will increase the probability of success. This is one such indicator that helps us to predict or to increase the probability that when exactly the market will go up or go down. And no matter whether we have to apply this for short term trading or long term, this indicator helps us when probably we can sell this particular stock at the top and when probably we can buy at the dip. Just a disclaimer, not all the time, but when it do, more probably it's a correct peak or correct bottom. Alright, let's get started. Before revealing the name of this indicator, let me first show how much powerful this indicator is. Let's pick a random stock, for example, Reliance Industries, largest company in India in both revenue and market capital terms. When I applied this indicator to the stock, we can clearly see when exactly the short term market peak points were. Let's take a look at another example. If required, please pause the video. It's the daily chart of TCS. Same thing, once we add this indicator, we can instantly see where are the potential peak points that we should stay away from and where are the dips for us to buy more shares at the best price. In technical analysis, we always struggle to find such short term peak or the swing highs. This indicator shows us the potential swing highs or peaks. Basically, it tells where the stock or the index is in an oversold condition. Not just that, other than the swing peak, this indicator will also show us where the swing lows are. Often heard people say, buy the dips. These swing lows are the best potential dips where we can enter trades or add more shares to our existing positions. So what exactly is this indicator? This magical indicator is called D Mark 9. Basically, it's named after its original creator called Tom DeMark. I'm guessing he owns the copyrights of the indicator completely. Now he's working as a personal special advisor for Steve Cohen. According to Forbes, Steve Cohen is having the total net worth of over 17 billion US dollars. Another interesting information. I hope you guys watched this TV series called Billions. If not, I strongly recommend to watch it. It's one of my favorite, favorite TV show. We can learn a lot like how the hedge fund works and how brutal and competitive they are, etc. In that, the main lead role on the first five season is based on Steve Cohen. Anyway, back to the topic. Tom D. Mark has created or developed a lot of different technical indicators, but I think this indicator called D. Mark 9 is by far one of the most effective one for predicting the short term market peaks and bottoms and also the easiest one for us to understand. In this video, we are going to understand how exactly this indicator works, how we can use it for our trading and investment purpose and also at the end of the video, we can discuss how we can integrate this indicator into the charting platform like TradingView which we can use it for free. So this is how TD9 or DMARC9 works. It compares the current candlestick's closing price to the closing price of the candlestick 4 days ago. If the current closing price is higher than 4 days ago, then it will be considered as bullish and it will be marked with a green number 1. On the other hand, if the current closing price is lower than 4 days ago, then it will be considered as bearish and it will be marked with a red number 1. The number shows how many days or consecutive sessions in a row that the stock or the index has closed above or below the price 4 days ago. More the number, more the oversold or overbought condition. And the most important number the indicator looking for is the number 9. For example, please have a look. If required, please pause. This is the daily chart of Nifty. If we add the DMARC 9 indicator in the trading view Nifty chart, we will see something like this 7, 8 red cross or 7, 8 green tick mark. As I said earlier, more the number, more oversold or the overbought condition. And at the time of this video, June 4th, Nifty is around number 8, which is not quite there, but partially overbought condition. Anyway, for understanding and identifying purpose in the program script, I changed the downward trend number 9 as green tick. 
and which means nine days in a row the closing price is less than that of the four days ago. This also indicates the short term oversold condition. And similarly, in the upward trend number nine as cross mark to indicate the short term overbought condition, where we might need to consider to exit the position. See here. Whenever we got the green tick mark, always there is a short term bounce. Similarly, whenever there is a red cross mark, always there will be a following short term dip. Like all the indicator, this tool too have the disadvantage. I mean, this will tell when we can expect a short term bounce or a short term dip. If we add the position or shorted means, it's not necessarily will tell when to exit. For example. Here, after this green tick, we might add at the position based on this tool recommendation. Then, following it did increase till eighteen thousand two hundred. After eighteen thousand two hundred, it again started to reverse. Here, the tool doesn't indicate any info for us to exit the position. But those times we know for one or the other reason, eighteen thousand two hundred was the huge resistance. So what I may recommend here is just add or consider this tool with the other technical and fundamental indicators to take the collective decision rather than solely depend on it. As I said earlier, every small bit of information in stock market will give us edge or increase the probability in favor of us. Typically, we should consider this tool mainly to avoid buying or adding more positions when this overbought condition shows up, especially if the stock is in a clear downtrend. So that's pretty much how the D Mark Nine indicator works. The mathematical calculation behind this indicator is extremely easy to understand, but also is extremely, extremely useful and effective. Just for info, in general, we can categorize the technical indicators into two. First one, it's called the momentum indicators, which mostly helps us to identify and understand the trends, whether the market is in an uptrend. Or it's in the downwards breakouts, and when the trend reversal happens, like kind of. Then the second category is called oscillators, which helps us to understand the overbought and oversold conditions in the market. And this D Mark Nine belongs to second category, which means it's an oscillator indicator that indicates when and where the market is in heavily overbought or oversold condition. All right. Let's see how we can implement this D Mark Nine indicator in the Trading View charting platform for free. First, the most important thing is the source code. I will add this in the Google document link in the description below. Just bit of the story. Months ago, I came across this tool, and for the source code, the guy was asking around three dollars, which is reasonable. I'm not complaining. I just want you guys to know how the investor's mind should be. So I got two options. Either I have to spend and buy for three dollars from this guy, or I can learn and create my own code. Thus, I don't need to worry about anything. So I chose the second option. This way, I learned how to create a code in Pine Editor and clearly understood how the indicator works. Again, Pine coding is not the rocket science, but I learned it now, so I know one more additional thing. Anyway, enough about the story. We need to add this to our charting platform. Here, as I said earlier, I'm currently using the Trading View. In my opinion, which is one of the best charting platform. In that, click the Pine Editor at the bottom. In the Pine Editor, just copy and paste the source code and click Save. Then add to chart. That's it. We can able to see the indicator in the chart. Finally, disclaimer: I am not a SEBI registered analyst. I am just sharing what I learned recently. Please don't make any decision based on this. Please always consult your financial advisor. Thanks for watching.